Good morning, I'm Hayley and this is Newsround. Here's what's coming up in the next few minutes. We meet the boy who helped make one of the biggest movies of the year and... why climate change is affecting birds in the UK. But first up, it's been a busy week of news this week, so let's get you caught up with this week's In The Know. First this week to the North African country of Libya, where more than 800,000 people are thought to have been affected by devastating floods caused by a storm that hit the country two weeks ago. The town of Derna, in particular, has been very badly damaged and many people have died. Some help has been arriving, but survivors are in need of food and shelter. BBC reporter Anna Foster sent us this report. You can see how everything has just been completely ripped away. This was a, a riverbed, but look, it's just a wasteland now. The buildings, the cars were swept out to sea. And I want to show you upstream as well where the dam was that burst. And again, you can just see that wide spread of earth where everything has just been taken and carried away by the force of the water. Next, the UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, has announced some big changes to the government's plans for protecting the environment, including pushing back the date of a ban on petrol and diesel cars by five years. The government says it wants to achieve something called net zero by 2050, which means balancing the amount of harmful gases that are pumped into the air with the amount that's taken out. But this latest decision has been criticised by some politicians and campaigners as a backward step in the fight against climate change. Finally, King Charles and Queen Camilla have been in France for a three-day state visit, which is when an important leader like a monarch, president or prime minister is formally invited to visit another country. While there, the king met with the French president Emmanuel Macron and gave a speech, mainly in French, about strengthening the friendship between France and the UK. That's all for this week, but now you're in the know. Thanks, Nina. Now, a new report says that climate change is having an impact on some of the birds that live in the UK. Migratory birds travel between different countries to mate, mostly following the sun and the warm weather. But cuckoo and willow warblers are two of the species whose numbers are falling in the UK. Scientists think it's because they're struggling to change their internal clocks to cope with the changes in the seasons. Now to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It smashed records at the cinema earlier this year, but did you know that one of the scenes in the movie was made by a 14-year-old? Yep, Preston is obsessed with Lego, and he recreated the trailer by film, shot by shot. He posted his video online, and then everything changed. Here's Ricky. This is the video Preston created from his bedroom. Who do you think you are? Really? It's his take on the Spider-Verse trailer. He created it using digital Lego and then posted it online. Miles! Want to get out of here? Miles! When? Want to get out of here? They dropped the first trailer and I was super excited. Like I wanted to see how the story continued from the first one. So um, while I was watching the trailer, I realized that I also make Lego stuff on my, uh, on my channel. Why don't I, you know, recreate the trailer? So uh, yeah, I did that and it took me around like two weeks to finish and upload to YouTube and Twitter. The response was like, just like incredible. It blew up like much more than I thought it would. I didn't think it would ever get this much attention. Since then, his clip has been viewed three and a half million times. Do I uh, have web on my face? What's the deal? and it caught the eye of the team behind Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, they basically were explaining through that first Zoom call, like, that I could animate a part for the movie. Like, you know, they showed me a quick storyboard and stuff, and I was like, wait, me? <laughs> I was like, so, <laughs> I was so surprised. Like, you know, I, like, to get to animate a part in, like, potentially the greatest animated movie ever, I was just like, no way. There's no way I could, I was gonna be able to do this. Uh-huh. Get on it! You got it, boss. Right, I'm on it. <laughs> I need a raise. Boop, boop. Miguel, it's Peter. 
we got an anomaly. Across the Spider-Verse has smashed records, becoming one of the biggest movies of the year so far, making £470 million worldwide. Were you into Spider-Man even when you were like, I don't know, seven or eight? Yeah, definitely I was a, I was a Spider-Man fan, you know. My earliest memory was like just having a Spider-Man pen, hard pencil case kind of thing. And I used to like just copy the, the illustration of Spider-Man that was on there and just keep drawing him. And yeah, I was, I was just really hooked on him. You know, I loved his design. And Preston hopes this will launch his passion for animation. That is so brilliant. Thank you, Preston. Well, that's all for today on CBBC, but have a look at the New Jam website for loads more, including a skydiver who landed on an inflatable unicorn and find out how many pets Millie Bobby Brown owns. And you can turn over to BBC Two at 9am and I'll have more News Rounds for you there. Bye-bye.